Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Ming's channel. This is Miss Ming. In today's video, I'm gonna do a very interesting topic. So usually during the holiday seasons, we spend a lot of money, and I thought it would be interesting to track how much money I actually spend on the Christmas week. Honestly, I'm as curious as you are. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any future content. All right, let's go. I forgot to change the battery do, 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 of the camera. Hey guys, welcome back to Miss Mix channel. This is Miss Ming and this is DJ Wang. Today we're going shopping. It's the Christmas week. Today is Sunday and this is the Christmas week and we need to shop for presents. I already got a lot of presents for people, but we still need like two more. I, think. I already got all the ones. I'm supposed to get but I need two more I needed two more and we also need groceries and stuff like that so I was thinking about doing a video actually it's Brandon's idea of doing a video of what we spend in a week Christmas holiday edition are you excited by the way we're really really trying to save money right now so we're trying to be good and not to spend a lot of money because we're gonna happen I do not have faith you're not being supportive I'm supportive. Okay, so now we're going to Costco and then I'm gonna meet in the mall with my friend and then we're gonna eat some food. So there's gonna be a lot of expenses and then my battery is dead. This already sounds like a fail. <laughs> my, a my battery is gonna go Costco. What do we need to buy? So we need to have a budget every time I go buy something. Like, what's on our list? What's on our like to buy list? Oh, I don't know. Are you, you're the one who said Okay, we need, we need water and stuff. Let's the go. Stuff. Yeah, the standard stuff. Let's go. Okay, say whatever. Already got suckered. Uh, yeah. uh, maybe no, maybe no, maybe no. I don't need it. I, I don't need it. Put it back. Okay. okay, I have willpower today. Now that we're doing this video, we're going to try not to spend extra money. It's not on the list. No, I'm so proud of myself. This bear is really, really cute, but it basically has no practical use. So we're not going to be a sucker to buy it. At least not for now. Wow! Okay, maybe we can buy it for the Christmas party or something. I don't need to. We already have cakes. Okay. Okay, willpower. Willpower. Let's go. Do you like it? Yeah, okay, this one is the Hawaiian rolls with chicken. Interesting. Every time I go to Costco, we try to go with empty stomach so we can eat food there as our brunch or lunch or as, at least as a snack. And tissue paper, just buy the cheap kind. Okay. Although it doesn't sound cheap, but it's uh, cheaper per 100 count. Clinics. It's allergy season, that's why. Giant Snapple, it's how much? $16.99, so $17. I like iced tea. Okay, cool, thank you. Okay, I'm a sucker. Uh, $15.49, extra fancy mixed nuts. It's healthy, healthy thing, right? It's healthy. Okay. Healthy snack. Okay, scented candle, $15 as a present uh, $15 so basically these are the items we bought from Costco we bought a bunch of household items and some Christmas presents in total we spent a hundred and eight dollars plus 97 cents in Costco this could be Brandon's mat I won this from my studio because like I, I participated in a draw and then I won it. I was so lucky. This could be yours. Come on, put it in your car. This could be our backup when I forget my, about my yoga mat. And then when I don't use it, you can use it. Okay, now we're going to Lush. We're gonna buy a facial mask that I really like for Isabel. Okay, let's go in. Look, ooh, those boss bombs look fantastic. Okay, let's go in. Wow, so, so many people. At Lush, first I bought a facial mask for Isabel as a Christmas present. I think it's around $14, $15. Lush has the best Christmas collections ever. Wow. 
That's a lot. And the color is yeah. <laughs> purple. Okay. Recently, I've been very into Lush products because usually in winter, I love to take bath. You know, on a very cold winter day, when you have a long day, when you get back home, you just take a long, nice, hot bath with bath bombs. It's really, really nice. So I'm buying some Lush products for my bath to treat myself. But usually, I limit two to three products to buy, so I don't spend too much at Lush at once. Because you know, their products are actually really expensive. So eventually, I decided to purchase the purple bubble bath, and also I bought this polar bear bath bomb. It's so pretty, and it's so shiny and white and silvery. I love it. So I purchased two products for myself and one product for someone else. At the end, we spent fifteen dollars on a facial mask as a Christmas present, and then I bought twenty dollars of bath products. In total, we spent thirty-five dollars and fifty-six cents at Lush. And then we went to a fancy kitchen store just to look for some more Christmas present ideas. Does your mom already have one? Fifteen dollars. Yeah, we we go to H E B. Let's go to Home Goods. Maybe they have something similar on sale. And of course, they were sampling coffee at the Nespresso bar, and I got my free coffee there. Yay! And then we went to Sweet Paris. This is an awesome crepe place for brunch, and it opens whole day, so you can actually eat there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we love to eat there for lunch. Or well, when we're eating there, it was already like two to three o'clock in the afternoon. We ordered three things, and my friend is actually leaving San Antonio.、Um, she is leaving San Antonio permanently, so we wanted to pick up this bill. We spent a total of thirty-four forty-eight dollars for three entrees. We think it's a pretty good deal because it's roughly about ten dollars per person plus taxes, and we don't think there's any tips included. So definitely a great deal. I like the fact that they have both sweet and savory crepe, and I, we also got a salad. I think the salad is the cheapest option because I don't think we ordered any extra protein. But definitely, I, I was pretty full from Costco and my coffee, so it's definitely really, really good when I just like share some food from the other crepes and also get the salad. I think one thing me and my friend and my family we love to do is to share our food so that we can try different flavors, and sometimes we can even save some money because then we don't need extra entrees. We can order smaller plates and we can try more flavors because you know we're all sharing, and it's definitely a really good way for weight control. And then we went to the Dollar Tree to buy Christmas cards and great Christmas present gift bags and you know tissue papers and stuff like that. I really wish that we don't have to do this because I feel like all of these wrapping papers and the tissues and gift bags they have really no use. We're just wasting papers and wasting money to purchase these papers. But you know because it's one of the traditions, it's kind of weird if everybody they wrap their papers or they use the gift bags, but we don't. It's definitely gonna make us look. I don't know. I feel like sometimes we're just having to conform to the social pressure to like obey the original tradition. This one is pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we definitely found some really neat stuff in the Dollar Tree, such as this ball. I think if I have a kid, or if I were a kid, I would definitely enjoy this one. It looks really pretty, honestly. In Dollar Tree, we spent a total of sixteen twenty-four dollars, and this include a bunch of Christmas cards and gift bags and tissue papers. After adding everything together, we spent a total of a hundred and ninety-five dollars on Sunday. It's definitely pretty high for a day, but I feel like a lot of the items we purchased are essential items for the household, and we also purchased presents for other people, and we also need to spend some time socializing with friends. You know, when you hang out with your friends, you just have to eat out. So it's basically inevitable to spend this much money during the holiday season. 
Hey guys, today is Monday and I'm using my phone to vlog again because apparently I forgot my camera again. I don't know, but supposedly I have a really good camera on the phone so I can still vlog. So today is Monday. I didn't spend a penny at all. I'm right now at the mall, but I'm here for yoga, but not for shopping. But I may take a walk before my yoga so I could, you know, get some steps in. Um, so today I had lunch, which is leftovers. I also had some ceviche, which is part of like my grocery shopping. Um, it's an imitation craft ceviche, so it's four dollars. Um, so it's really cheap lunch. And then now I'm going to yoga and I'm going to go back home for dinner. So I don't know what we are going to eat for dinner. That could be problematic, but we I think we have groceries at home. But I, I felt like I didn't plan out my um, cooking anymore because like right now I'm working so much, especially when I'm doing this vlogmas. So yeah. Okay, let's go to the mall and do some yoga and I'll see you at home. Yeah, today is a good day. I didn't spend money. Yay! All right, going to Wingstop for dinner here. Let's go. All right, we we're bad. We had to get Wingstop. Yeah, Wingstop. Because we're lazy. We didn't want to cook nothing. <laughs> okay, so I got Wingstop for dinner today. We broke down. We spent ugh, this much. $13. 85 cents but it's not bad since it was 60 cent wing day and so we ended up getting 15 wings for uh, 60 cents each and then I got Ming a large fries and she eats, likes to eat fries and that was $3.79 so all in all $13.85 spent today but we did get wing stop which I do like okay food fries and uh, chicken what's this flavor Garlic parmesan, baby. Boom. Garlic? I hate garlic. That's mine. You got okay. that. I got which one? Oh, the Asian spicy? Kore Asian, Korean something. The one you like. Boom. Cool. Let's do it. Okay, how much did you spend? I already did that part of the video. $13.50 something cents because we got 60 cent wing day. Okay, so this is um, half up wing day. That's no, why. 60 cent boneless. Six, oh, 60 cents boneless. That's why it's so cheap. So it's $13. That's pretty good. $3 for you. Okay, three dollars for the French $3. fries, $3. and then this one. Yep, thirty dollars total. Okay, cool. Booyah! Booyah! Hey guys, it's Christmas Eve. December twenty fourth. So today I stayed at home. I filmed four videos, and I cleaned the house, semi clean. And then this is Brenda. He went to work. Burr, 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 make money. So right now we're going to his mom's house. We're gonna try to help to clean the house a little bit. And we're gonna do some cooking for tomorrow's Christmas party. And we spent zero dollars today. Yay, I, I ate leftovers. How about you? Clean the fit. Well, I spent zero dollars because I ate the leftovers. Okay, so right now my goal is to get some free food from his mom's house. So we can eat for free again. So zero dollars spent. Tomorrow we'll probably spend zero dollars, right? Because it's Christmas Day, right? What? What are you gonna do? Spending what money? I'm sure you'll spend something. I don't know. If I stay at home, I don't spend jazz. Like I just make coffee by myself. And well, I guess the coffee, the coffee capsule is like fifty cents, but it's like a dollar fifty. No, it's fifty cents each capsule. Oh, some of so. some of them are 75 cents some of them are 50 cents but i you know i buy them like in boxes so it's not the day i spent today it's the day i spent when i bought it okay i'll see you in his mom's house and also i did something stupid again i was i, I brought my camera and my tripod and then i realized that <sighs> there's no sim card in it there is no sim card why am i so stupid because you were rushing me, you dummy, and now we're in traffic, because you, I told you to call. I told you, and you wouldn't believe me. He's like, if you call my mom, my mom's gonna be mad. I was like, why? Stupid. I'm telling you, this guy, not very bright. Okay, let's go. 
So basically, at Brenda's mom's house, we helped her with cooking the prime rib、um, because she broke her arm, so she couldn't lift anything that's heavy. So we were basically helping her doing that. But then things did not go the way we planned. We did not have dinner, so we had to go out for dinner because you know we didn't have to have time to cook ourselves. And then the worst thing is Brenda's dad also didn't have dinner, so we have to take him out. And also he was running out of his allowances. He basically has no money left for the rest of December, so of course we need to pick up the bill. So eventually, for these three entree dinner, we spent thirty-four dollars, and of course this is a restaurant, so we need to pay tip. So eventually, we spend over forty dollars. Let's just call it forty-one dollars. All right, had to get gas. Twenty-five dollars twenty cents. Wednesday was actually the Christmas day. In the morning, we spent twenty-five dollars for gas, and I ate a banana as breakfast. And then we went to yoga. You know, we paid our membership eight hundred per year for twelve months unlimited yoga. So basically, the more classes you go to, and the less money you spend, basically, the more you go to, the cheaper it is. Well, that's how we calculated it. So we're trying to go to as many classes as possible to get our money's worth. Basically, that's how we motivate ourselves. Basically, because you're already paid for the yoga classes. And then for lunch, I ate this fruit. Like in China, we call it grapefruit. I think it's like grapefruit, but it's bigger. I love that. And also, I boiled some chestnuts. We bought this earlier from the grocery store in the previous week. This is the Christmas party dinner. It is so awesome. We had so much food, so that we don't have to spend any money for dinner. Yay! For Thursday, first I used my points to exchange a royal English breakfast tea. So basically, it's really tricky with Starbucks. If you drink iced tea, it's gonna be a hundred and fifty points. But if you order hot tea, it's going to be fifty points. And there is a way to modify it to taste like boba milk tea. And as you can tell from my order, and you can try to replicate the recipe and tell me if it works. How does it taste? For lunch on Thursday, I went to my friend's house to tutor her daughter with some schoolwork, and I got free lunch. She even made me lobster. lobster. It was so good. Oh my gosh! For dinner, I went to my mother-in-law's house to eat the leftover dim sum, and Jenny brought from Austin, but there were not a lot left, so、um, I didn't eat much. But basically, free dinner. I can't say no, right? So basically, that's all I eat: chicken feet and two leftover hot gal dumplings. But I was pretty good. I didn't spend any money on Thursday. Yay! Success. On Friday for lunch, I ate the leftovers from Tuesday. You know, usually I eat leftovers for lunch. And then for dinner, we went to this Riverwalk restaurant for date night. It's our anniversary, so we kind of want to celebrate it a little bit. Or seafood boils. I want to eat seafood boils. I'm gonna have crawfish, mussels, snow crab legs, peeled shrimp. Wow. Date night dinner tasted really, really good. This restaurant is by Riverwalk, but it's not exactly on the Riverwalk. It's like five minute walk from the Riverwalk, so the price is kind of reasonable. And we had seafood boil and a salad to share. But I felt like we definitely ordered too much to finish. So in total, we spent thirty six dollars on date night dinner. On Saturday for lunch, I just ate the instant food we got from Costco a week ago. So we didn't really spend any money for lunch and stuff. We just found stuff from the fridge, and then I went to Hobby Lobby and Michaels with Isabel. Everything is on sale. Essentially, the rule of thumb is like never buy anything full price because they were always gonna be be on sale. Okay, so basically their planner stuff are on sale and their planner stickers are on sale. I am a sucker for planner stickers, and I'm just so addicted to the collection of planner stickers. So eventually, I broke down and bought two sticker books. Each one is fifteen dollars after the sale. So basically, I spent thirty dollars in Hobby Lobby. 
When I was shopping, BJ Wong went to have a haircut, and he spent forty eight dollars on a single haircut. That's crazy. I never go have haircut because I felt like it's just a waste of money. So I just have my long hair. I cut my hair once every two years, and I try to save my haircut when I go to China because in China it only costs you ten dollars to have a really good haircut. Well, I think I spent fifteen dollars because I have really long hair, but it's way better deal if you do this in China. And then for dinner, we went to eat at Buffalo Wild Wings. We ordered a bunch of wings and also some quesadillas because Brenda lost at tennis. We we're supposed to pay for dinner, and also because Brenda's cousin Isabel and her boyfriend they just graduated from college, so we felt like we are obligated to pick up the bills. Well, when in the future when they get a real job, they can pay for our dinner as well. So we spent seventy-two dollars in total in wings. All right, now let's look at what we spend in a week for each category. So first, for food, eating out, and social gathering, we spend almost two hundred dollars. This number is pretty high considering normally we only spend around a hundred to a hundred thirty. But I think it's because it's holiday season, we have more social gathering going on.、Um, but normally we will spend more money on the grocery. We will go to the grocery store to buy food more often. So we feel like at the end it didn't change much. For the second category, holiday stuff, we spend a total of forty-five dollars. This number is not really high considering we purchased the majority of our presents during the Black Friday sale, the Cyber Monday sale, and during the earlier weeks. But still, I spent sixteen dollars just on the Christmas cards, the wrapping papers, tissue papers, gift bags. I feel like these money are actually wasted because you know they're they have no function. The third category is household items. We spend a total of seventy nine dollars for household items. These include tissue papers. You know, it's the allergy seasons, and some drinks, and also the toilet papers, kitchen towels, and things like that. We purchase from Costco, and usually we spend this much.、Um, we don't purchase like toilet paper and kitchen towel every weekend, but at the same time, we always like switch things up. Sometimes we buy more food in Costco. Sometimes we would buy more household stuff in Costco. So. So we always spend like the same amount of money in Costco. The next category will be the personal care haircut, bath, and stickers I bought. We spent a total of ninety eight dollars on personal care, including Brandon's forty eight dollar haircut, my bath bombs, and my personal stickers for the planner. I know it's definitely high, but I feel like sometimes in certain weeks we spend nothing. In terms of personal care, but in the other weeks we spend a hundred dollars or even more on these items. The next category will be the wellness items,、um, which include gym memberships, yoga memberships, and things like that. So this week we didn't spend anything extra on other gym memberships and stuff. We only had our yoga membership, which is about sixty-seven dollars per month, divided by four times two will be thirty-three dollars for both of us. The next category is actually a big category, which is the utility.、Um, we spend a lot of money on utility because we actually own a house. So basically, my phone bill is seventy-one dollars per month divided by four, so it would be seventeen dollars. We also pay forty-four dollars to the homeowner association, which equals to. Eleven dollars per week. Our electricity in winter is pretty low. It's seventy-four dollars per month divided by four. It's nineteen dollars. Our water bill is forty-one dollars divided by four. It's ten dollars. Our gas bill is seventy dollars divided by four equals seventeen dollars, and we have two cars. And the insurance for two cars together will be fifty dollars per week, and our home insurance is thirty-four dollars per week. And yes, we have to pay property tax. Our property tax is three hundred and sixty nine dollars per month divided by four will be ninety two dollars per week. So to add up the total, the weekly total of expenses is seven hundred and four dollars for both of us in total. I think the majority of the money we spend is actually on eating out.、Um, 
I think during the holiday seasons, because like we're all so busy and tired, we both have work. I'm trying so hard on Vlogmas. So every day I come home really tired and also we're, we have social responsibilities and we need to hang out with the family and also we need to help out with the family. And I feel like I am not on top of the games. Actually, both of us are not on top of the games in terms of cooking. So we've been eating a lot of restaurant food which costs a lot of money so i think overall in the future i'm so gonna do this video again to track what we spend and try to like do well in the budgeting and also um i i used to meal prep during the work seasons but now it's the holiday seasons i didn't do well on meal prep uh, which kind of led to having to eat out and spend a lot of money and also like i think when we hang out with friends we do need to like eat out uh, i think during the holiday seasons i can justify um eating out with friends with like social situations but definitely i want to keep tracking of my expense and i need to be um i need to be more on top of the games when it comes to budgeting all right that's it for today i hope you enjoyed today's video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below like have you ever tracked your um spendings where do you spend the most money from is it on grocery is it on food is it on clothes is it on makeup please comment down below and what are the strategies that you use for budgeting i think starting new year i need to do better when it comes to budgeting thank you so much before i go don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i will see you in my next video bye